What's going on guys? In this video, we're gonna be going over how to use Adobe Lightroom to create LUTs for your video footage. Now, Adobe Lightroom is one of the best color grading options out there when it comes to editing your photos. And I don't know about you guys, but I use Adobe Premiere to edit my footage and the color grading tools inside of Premiere aren't that great, they're very limited. So when I edit footage, what I'll often do is I will do a basic color grade in Adobe Premiere and then I'll add on a LUT and then do the fine tuning from there. And it wasn't until recently that I discovered that I could be doing my own LUTs using the power of the tools that we have in Lightroom and then exporting those settings as a cube file and importing that into Premiere to create my own LUT. Now recently I did a video on how to create presets for your phone and take other people's presets and save them in a different format for your computer and for your phone. You can use this for other things as well. So say you bought somebody's presets in this tutorial, we'll be going over how you can use those presets, those edits within Lightroom and export them as LUTs. So you can really get multiple uses out of your presets in Lightroom. So you can make a preset in Lightroom or buy a preset in Lightroom and we can export it as a DNG file. I'll link that video up in the top corner so you can watch it, get it on your phone and also export it as a cube file so you can use it in your videos. That's what we're gonna be talking about in this video. So we'll jump into the computer guys. And this one is relatively easy, but there are a few steps involved. So make sure you stick around to get the most out of it. What we'll be doing is using a piece of footage that I shot recently from my trip to Joshua Tree. And I'll include that piece of footage as a download link for you guys so you can follow along step by step. So we're in Premiere, we've got the clip that we're gonna be using to color grade. Let's just give the one that we're using a watch. It's just one of me at Joshua Tree raising my arms up. So this is the clip that we're gonna to wanna to color grade. So to do that, to get it into Lightroom, we have to export a JPEG. So we're gonna select a part of the clip that we like the look of. I like this part with my hands raised slightly up in the air and we're gonna choose this icon and we're gonna to choose to export it as a frame. Just a JPEG is fine. And then we're gonna choose the location and hit OK. And that's gonna export it as a JPEG for us. And then we can import that JPEG into Lightroom. Now, just for the interest of time, guys, I will speed through the entire photo editing process so you don't have to watch. And if you do like the color profile that I used and you do want to follow along, I'll export it out as a preset for you and include that in the download link as well. So you can just apply the preset and the color grade will be done for you. And then you can follow those other steps as well. So let's edit in Lightroom. We need to download a LUT generator and that's gonna allow us to create our cube files from our Lightroom exports. So we need to go to this website. I'll leave a link in the description for you guys so that you can click on it. And then we're just gonna download the generator. Download. What's cool about this product is it's a name your price type of product. So you can choose $0, $100. You can choose what you feel is worth it. So you can get it totally free or you can throw them a few dollars if you feel like doing so. So for this one, I'll do $0 because I've already paid for it originally and have it downloaded on my computer. So we'll enter zero and go to the next step. We'll fill out this information and then we'll download it. Now, once the LUT generator is downloaded, you've unzipped it and you've run it, you're left with these two options, generator hound or convert to cube. Step one is we are going to generate a howled. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna open up our finder window and we're gonna choose a place to save an image. The howled is the image that we're gonna save our color adjustments onto. Choose a place where we're gonna save all of our new files because we're gonna be working with a few different files here. So step one is we're just gonna save this into my documents. And if we open up my documents, you can see we are left with this image neutral512.png and it's just a whole mess of color grid situations and that is how we're going to create our luck using this odd image so first of all let's do some folder management what we'll do is we'll create a folder and we'll call it joshua tree color and then we'll drag our howled in there. Now we've got the howled saved on our computer what we can do is we can head into Lightroom and we're going to import that howled image in Once you've imported the HAUD file into Lightroom, we want to copy all of the settings that we've done onto our image and we want to paste it onto the HAUD. So to do that, we're going to go to settings, copy settings, make sure the right ones are selected and hit copy. 
then we're going to go to where our hound file is that we just imported that's the colorful looking image and we can just do command v and paste it on there so now you can see that's affected the hound and what it's doing is it's changing the color profiles on the hound image so now we've got the colors on the hound what we can do is we can just go ahead and export that so let's do export let's choose the folder structure that we already had so like i said we're going to have a few files that go on here so we'll make an export Called this folder hound choose choose and then we're gonna export it now we've got this hound image with our color adjustments onto it so now the final step in getting this into a cube file is we're going to open up the LUT generator one last time and we're going to choose the second option which is convert to cube so we can click convert to cube and we can navigate to our Joshua Tree color LUT folder our hounds and this is the one with the color adjustments added onto it we can select it hit open and what's going to happen is it's going to run that file and it's going to convert it automatically into a cube for us we're going to get this little notification to say the operation was completed successfully we can just hit ok and then here we have our cube file so now let's return to premiere and look at our clip so this is our clip with nothing on totally blank no adjustments made to it so let's go to the color tab Let's go to creative and browse and we'll navigate to our folder and here's our dot cube file. If we open it, we can see there we go. There is that really lovely color grade that we came up with in Lightroom. Now it's on our footage. And then what's even better, what we can't do in Lightroom, unless you've watched my video, of how to add a slider to effects in Lightroom called The Fader. If you haven't watched that, guys, I suggest you watch it. I'll link it up above. But what we can do now in Premiere with our color profile is we can increase or decrease the intensity. So we can decrease it all the way to zero, or we can increase it past 100%. So if we thought that the color grade was too strong, we could just drop it down to the 70s, or we thought it wasn't strong enough, we could just push it past a little bit. Obviously, that's not something we can inherently automatically do in Lightroom only Premiere. So there we have it, guys. We've got our LUT created from Lightroom and added on to our footage in Premiere. And we can just give it a little play, make sure it looks all good. So that's it guys, that is how to create your own LUT using Lightroom 100% free. I know there's a few steps involved, but once you've done it once, it becomes really easy once you've got that LUT generator installed and all you're doing is creating your hound. Once you have that one hound and you have it imported into Lightroom, you only ever have to do it once. You don't have to do it more than once. You can just reset the settings on the hound file and then just copy and paste your settings from your current photo that you're editing onto your existing hound file run that through the LUT generator, save it as a cube, and then it takes a few seconds. That's it guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one.